And on the way back, all I hear is a parent say, nice call, coach. <laughs> That's one that will live in infamy to me, that I totally agreed with. You know, that it was the dumbest call in history. I was trying to build up the kid's esteem as a former goalie. Do you know what I'm saying? He could have been the hero. And Yeah. Uh, that, that's just a small example. That was one that was actually made sense. Another one is... It, how it, how we old talk, were these kids, though? These kids were uh, freshmen in high school. Lovely thing to yell for the, within the earshot of the freshmen As in high school. As sulking back to the goal. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the other one is, uh, get that kid out of there. Oof. Another one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, when they made a mistake, probably three mistakes in a row. Get that kid out of here. What that? What's that kid doing in there? Coach, are you paying attention? Kind of all three in a row, you know, back to back to back. And once again, I'm sitting here going, yeah, that's not bad advice. You know? it's not, Coach, you must have some great ones. Well, you yours. just kind of took them all. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Well, those, I got to tell you this, and, and let me just say this. As a sports writer, I used to come and I used to watch these things. And I used to think these idiots, because they might be right, but they're wrong. If, if you're talking about a freshman boy or a freshman yeah. girl, yeah. and and some some parent is yelling like criti criti critical of them. You just want to turn to them and go, "Hey, your kid's not going to make the pros. Your kid's probably not going to play soccer, yeah. and you're kind of a." And I would think of a bad word. <laughs> well, 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 here, here's my favorite. <laughs> but, I'm going to tell but, you this one. This is the best yeah. one of all. This is two parents, father and wife, husband and wife, and another father next to each other in the stands. Next to each other. On the kids are on the same team. <sighs> all the kids are on the same team. Yep. It's a wet, drizzly day, but it's a huge game. Gog, these kids are 16, 17. All gets picked, kicked back to the goalie, and it goes through his hands and through his legs into the net. The father yells, wet ball. His son is the goalie. It's a wet ball, wet ball. It happens five minutes later. <laughs> the other father goes, wet ball my ass. Get that fucking kid out of there. And, and I'll tell you right now, I still laugh to this thing. I can picture the voice because I was like, what do you say? Get that fucking kid out of there. Wet ball my ass. It's still... And I know friends of mine are going to listen to this and remember that story because they were on the soccer field. And, and, and then we they're all talk know, about it. And then they're going to know which oh, yeah, that's... And they'll know who said it and yep. they'll remember. And it, it's, it was yeah. not helpful. In fact, the, the, the guy who yelled at his son is a catcher for UMaine, uh, Division One baseball. Oh, that's nice. And the, and the other kid, make it, make the other kid played identify. goalie for U Lowell, the one who okay. went through his hands. He was yep. a goalie for U Lowell. UMass Lowell. UMass Lowell. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Uh, in hockey. Okay. Actually, not soccer. Okay. But uh, no, it's, they were all great athletes, but to hear the parents going at it, not yelling at me, it's, <laughs> it was the best. Sorry, coach. I know you had a couple. But... How, how often did you have it that they would be yelling from the stands, not at you? Ever? Oh, yeah. Most of the time they weren't, you know, they'd yell at me, but most of the times they'd be yelling, they'd be yelling at their own kid, Yeah. which sometimes you would have to turn around and say something to them. Yeah. That, that's the worst, oh, that's, is when yeah, the parents are yelling at their own kid. That's worse. It's even worse when they yell at their own kid and give them the wrong advice. Yeah, that's the other thing. The two things, that yelling at their own kid, we all know since, uh, what was that? What was the movie with uh, Paper Moon? No, not Paper Moon. Paper bad, news, bad News Bears. Bad News no, Bears. Yes. We all know from Bad News Bears, you shouldn't be a, a crazy parent and uh, rip your kid. But the other thing that I, I have seen over and over is somebody who's yelling contradictory advice to their kid in the field. And these are usually not, while the kid is in action, these are usually during the dead times and where the kid can actually hear it. And it can actually do badly because I, I don't know, coach, you can tell me, have what? you ever, have you ever preferred that they listen to their parent instead of you? <laughs> I did have a situation in Lufia one year where I had these eight, seven or eight fathers who would show up at practice every day, how they didn't have jobs or what they could be at practice every day. We'd be scrimmaging and I'd have myself on one side and these guys all be on the other side and they'd all be yelling at their kids to do the opposite of what I was telling them to do. That's common, yeah. Yeah, it's, so it's, finally one day I just walked over and I, I was like, guys, you got to go up in the parking lot. You, you can't be here on the on the sideline anymore. We can be wherever we want to be. I said, no, you gotta, you got to go up in the parking lot. You, you, you're making this really difficult for me. And, well, you don't know what you're doing and, blah, you know, all the usual stuff. And I'm like, you got to go to the parking lot or I'm going to call the cops. Okay, you got You got to go. Which is okay. a bluff. Which oh, is a oh bluff. absolutely. There were no cell phones. Uh, <laughs> so they're like, we're going to go to the superintendent. We're going to go. I said, you can go to whoever you want. Okay, but now you need to go up in the parking lot. <laughs> so they would stand up in the parking lot and just scream louder. 
<laughs> so, that, so no, hold so on. Rest, I know the rest of the story. So I walked up to the parking lot. And I said, "You've got to go to the middle school parking lot." I met the middle school. It took three lot. hours for AAA to get there to do my time. <laughs> so for days, the AD would have to come out and usher them up into the parking lot because they would come yeah. out and he would bring them up on, onto the. Uh, yeah, it was. But the best one probably was the worst day of the year is when I have to make cuts at, at the prep. It's, oh. it's awful. It's awful, and. Um, so I do it on a Monday because most of the parents can't be around. But for some reason, one year, I had to do it on a Saturday for some reason. Yep. So all the parents are in the parking lot. Do you wait till after you count the money that was in the envelope? I do. <laughs> I do. Um, so all this, you know, and I can tell the kids, you know, you can stay and talk to me. I get, you know, email me if you, whatever. So all of a sudden I'm talking to a kid and I look up. There's basically two fathers fighting in the parking lot. Cause Great. With the wives getting between them. Okay. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Because one, one. Let him, uh, Dave loves this. Let him go. Now he likes soccer. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go. This is the soccer he wants. <laughs> one kid got cut. One kid didn't. Oh boy. So you got these two fathers standing next to each other. Who don't like, apparently didn't know each other. Yeah. And the kid goes, "Wait a minute, my kid got cut, and so and so made it." And it's the father of so and so who's standing right next to the guy who got cut. That kid oh, sucks. Right. Right? Exactly. That's how it goes. So, oh, so I, no, that's how it goes. I started walking that way, and then I'm like. What the hell am I doing? I'm not going near that. That's got nothing to do with me. That's yeah. the whole point. There's the guy who got him. Get yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, have you ever felt the urge to tell somebody after cuts, look, I kept I kept Tommy and I cut Billy because Tommy's I mother this is, going. is much better looking. <laughs> that was my line. Yeah. Yeah, did you, I said that. Ask him about the woman's pet, the mother pick. I know where this is going. Um, that has to be right. seriously. Of all, that, that's a great topic you could do a whole show on. Is, is cutting and why you cut and there's a myriad of reasons that go into it but you you've been at you know especially at the high school level at a yeah. catholic school division one where parents have spent all their money on travel and their kids the best right. and and then and then he gets cut from coach who, who is this guy's only hall of fame coach but you know what i mean that, that could be a whole show dave at some point yeah well a lot of the parents i mean they're really type a very very successful people who have given their kids whatever they've wanted and this is the first time they've heard no they have no control they can't buy it they can't so they it's the first time they've heard no the kids are using it's not the kids the kids very usually seldom know. the kids know exactly the kids know that they're it's, not gonna it, they yeah. know. let it's me let parent. me just let me just Sorry. uh take a just a second here as i mentioned dale our engineer is a former cop dale yes <laughs> as a as a cop back when you were working as a cop did you ever have a situation where you had to intervene in the case of parents toward a coach, toward a player, or toward each other in the, in the stands or fans. In Ab the stands. Absolutely. We had, and it was <laughs> the most unlikely scenario. There was a cheerleading competition. Oh, oh no, that sounds pretty uh, deadly. Cheerleading <laughs> competition. And they literally had to call in cops from other towns, neighboring communities. It was a Saturday and it was probably 20 different cheerleading squads. And the first the question, field house. first questions you guys had are: Are they still in their uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> and there was—I I don't want to call it a riot, but there was probably eight to ten people fighting, and then some of the girls were arguing. Everyone came out of the stands, and just it was, it was a bad scene it, just over a bad call and what what oh. cheerleading group should have won and what group didn't win. Same yeah. thing Coach Kroll was talking it's, about. It's 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 dog eat dog. The world of I personally didn't respond to that call because I was on lunch break. But the other guys I was working, <laughs> he also heard there were no male cheerleaders. In this event. <laughs> so 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 you were on lunch break. That sounds like you know. I know what it was. I don't want to answer that call. Yeah. And meanwhile, who wouldn't want to go to two hundred cheerleaders wrestling on the ground? And have to pull them apart. Who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> All right. So moving on to the advice that you should give. So let me ask you this question. We're recommending what advice should you yell? And we know that the real answer is you should just be encouraging of the whole team. And remember that the mission of youth and high school athletics is to build character and all of those things. And yelling things like, you know, Dave's kid isn't any good. My kid's better is probably not really conducive to that. And it's not win at all costs. And it's not any of the things that, that parents often send uh, to yell out. So here's the question is, what kind of advice should you yell from the sidelines? Well, I, know, I, I tell the kids all, like I, I select my team. And then the next day we get to get congratulated about selecting the team and all that. 
and then I tell them what my mother always told me. Okay. okay. To make sure that you have on clean underwear because if you get in an accident and have to go to the hospital, <laughs> yeah. you want your underwear to be clean and not torn. And you want people so to yell at from the stands. So that's, <laughs> no, that's just, uh, you know, it's not something I'd yell from the stands, obviously. <laughs> he, but, well, he, I don't know. Why he not? A, he has a little light coat from Cheers. <laughs> Why not? I'm thinking, where did that uh, come from? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, wear there was clean some underwear. dead space that needed <laughs> to be filled <laughs> there, you know? So I... Uh, you know, so that's the first thing I Actually, tell I, I got to tell you, in the yeah. spirit of this uh, of this exercise, I think wear clean underwear is actually an excellent thing to yell from the stance. Yeah, I, I think agree. next time I go to a game. Because, you, you know, you don't know, you don't know when you're going to get I'm hurt. I'm going to yell at you for the next podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wear clean underwear. <laughs> Well, I, I know this. Kid, if I don't wear clean underwear, I can always give it a damn to do the and I'll put it in his wash. <laughs> well, as Dave can attest, I went to the hospital a lot as a kid. So yeah. my mother was uh, wanted to make sure I had on clean underwear. Yeah, she, she never knew when the next time was going to be. That was a good point. That was a good point. He was a walking uh, accident waiting to happen. So here's what I would yell. Here's what I would yell if I'm at a soccer game. I th- thought this through. I'm going to yell, skate, skate, because <laughs> that will confuse the other team. I was playing indoor once, and somebody kept yelling that. <laughs> when you had the ball and you had room to bring it up, yeah. the, the, you know. I knew what he meant. The hockey but, parent. Skate, skate, skate. No, was a teammate. No, it was a teammate. It was, a teammate. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, trust me, in the indoor, nobody, you, you, you don't have fans. You have girlfriends. Well, 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 and, well, and I, and I hate to be uh, uh, the antithetical me and be a uh, uh, non-conservative here, but I honestly think what I would tell my parents is, you know the good players. You know the weak players. Cheer the weak players on. Cheer to get them the ball. Cheer when they make a good play. Make it positive. That's that's, that's yeah. what I would tell people. Well, yeah, that's positive some real advice. Not not. We don't want to hear. You've never played soccer. You shouldn't be talking direction. Cross it. Send them all the stuff that the coaches are trying to teach. Right. You shouldn't be yelling at the ref whether it's out of bounds, our ball, their ball, corner kick, goal kick, because you're 400 feet away and the referee's usually right there. But I think the most of it is just to be anything yelled should just be positive. I yep. know that's simple and sappy, but as a coach, that's all we want to hear. You know what I? Uh, you know what I plan to yell the next time I go to a game to help my team win. <laughs> Gonna yell! You don't have the guts to pick the ball up with your hands <laughs> in that big box. <laughs> <laughs> you I dare don't you have to pick the it up gut. in that big box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I dare you. Um, and then the other one that I like is uh, is uh, look. There's Rihanna. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 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 Well, that would be if you're in the Latin community. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, who's a big enough star? Well, what, what star would you... Yeah, it's funny, because when I originally thought of that joke, I thought... I, thought, yeah, I don't think I our thought, audience would... Who's <laughs> famous Who's famous enough? And I thought, there's John Stamos, but no one's going to remember. No. Oh, boy, Dave. Uh, yeah, we well, need a different celebrity. So you're saying Rihanna's not a, not a good enough celebrity for that... For that? Somebody's about Bruce to take Bruce Springsteen, maybe? No, not kids. Yeah, kids, kids don't even know who Jerry Seinfeld is. M&M. It's Eminem. Eminem? Oh, God, you don't know who Eminem is? I, oh, no, I, I, I know. I don't know, I know, you know, you know, know what Eminems you know, are. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then it will be the Eminem who was just canceled. Because, the green one. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, 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 it's the canceled Eminem. Dave's team right. just canceled the green Eminem. But anyway, seriously, when you're yelling from the stands, if you are a parent... Let the coaches coach. Oh, you can yell at the coach after the game, but I know. But this is not an ABC after school special. I understand that. We we all know you're not supposed to do that. We've said it the requisite twenty times. But you know, when they're in college, you can yell, "Kick the ball, loser." That's fine. They're old (laughs) enough now. They can handle criticism. I'm talking loser, loser, Loser. cross it, loser. What if they? Oh yeah, that's all you need. You know, you know. Sorry, Mister Roberti, but uh, you know. Our, our games are a safe space for oh, kids, course. and you yeah. can't call them losers. You call them. And you can say, but he's playing Division Three. No, <laughs> that's awful. That's, that's I know, I know. Forgive me. All right, any more advice, or are we good? We good for advice? What do you think, Coach? I mean, you've had well, I would, what yeah. Would you, what would well, you? I like it when a kid takes a shot and it goes out for a throw-in. Yep. So you yell, great shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the condescending. Yeah, that way I experience sarcasm. last show. Yeah, I just experienced yeah. the last yeah. show. I like yeah. I like when parents yell that out. <laughs> 
Do parents do parents actually yell that out? Well, they yell it all the time. Kid misses a net by ten miles. Great oh. shot. Yeah. The best is when they're inside the the the, the, the area and they kick it over the net. We used to have the expression, "Just tap it in." Oh yeah, just tap it in. <laughs> but they have think they have to blast.